Hello, this is uh, Nathan Wilkerson and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Trust plugin. Today I want to uh, introduce some of the new features that have recently been added to the plugin and also try to explain in particular the edit feature that has been uh, recently added to the common trusses. So let's start off first by uh, just taking a look at this uh, model here and I'm going to right now turn off a few layers just to make things a little clearer and easier to um, determine the three points that define the roof. So let's go ahead and turn off the sheathing, the cladding, and the wall gypsum. Okay, and while we're at the trim. So first of all, just regular as normal, let's go ahead and um, put a common truss on top of this. And of course we just select the three points that define the roof. <coughs> what that little guy is there but it's fine and we'll go ahead with a fink and we're not going to do a raised heel to start actually that can be any value and let's go ahead and put a four all right and the roof returns okay i think we're good there and you notice these other little sub menus that pop up as when you select certain options. Uh, let's go ahead with a K5 gutter. Okay. <coughs> I'm not sure what that little artifact is. Let's go ahead and remove that. Something else in the drawing that was there previously. Okay. So, um, yeah, we've got a roof here. It's drawn it. Let's go ahead and turn off the uh, roof cladding and framing. Or not the framing, just the sheathing and the cladding. Uh, right there and right there. Okay. So we can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Um, so now you can see, you know, we've got the standard roof. Um, <clears throat> but the cool thing is, is now if you right click on this assembly, you'll get a edit trust assembly that comes up. So go ahead and click that. And then you have a, a little menu that will show up here. And you can see that, uh, you know, you can resize it and do whatever you want with it. Place it wherever you want on the screen. Just, you know, <coughs> put it wherever is convenient. But it allows you now to edit this truss assembly or this roof assembly without having to redraw it every time you want to change something, which is kind of a nice feature. So, for instance, let's uh, go ahead and... Um, change the pitch of the roof and so let's go with the 612 for instance and there you go change the pitch and, and the cool thing is too is you know you don't have to change just one thing you can change a number of things so let's change it to a how truss and then let's go in with a raised heel with a 12 inch raised heel on that how truss and then let's go ahead and update that Okay, and so now it's got the how truss with a raised heel. <coughs> um, one thing other to note is that as you scroll through these options, this update button and the close buttons remain in the same position, so it kind of makes it so you don't have to scroll back up to the top and reposition yourself to hit the update button. So I'm trying to keep things as clean and uh, accessible as possible. Uh, so, let's, you know, if we turn off the uh, advanced roof options, of course, that will, um, you know, it doesn't show all the other options, and it will remove um, these other options, the advanced options, as I call them. <coughs> now, let's go ahead and turn back, move this out of the way, and let's turn back on those other layers so we can see. And, you know, even though layers aren't shown, it, it is creating uh, the geometry. So, let's turn back on the roof sheathing. Wall sheathing, the cladding, the wall cladding. I'll go ahead and hit the gypsum while we're at it. Okay, so that should take care. And the trim, why not? <coughs> okay, so <coughs> now, you know, we ha do have a lot of other options here. Let's go ahead and enable roof returns. Okay, so the roof return pitch. Let's go ahead and hit a 412, an extension, say 24. Return length, eh. I don't know. Let's try 48. See what we get there. 
So it takes just a second here to do its thing. And there you go. There's your roof returns. And, um, okay, so we've got these gutters. And we've got this round gutter pipe. And we've got it wrapping around. Maybe we want to change that. Let's go down here. Change our downspout type. Actually, no, we're not turn it off. Let's turn it to a regular rectangular downspout. And let's turn the wrapping off. So we just have it go to the uh, ends of the fascia there. Hit update on that. And now you can see we've got a regular rectangular gutter with a non-wrapped gutter going around that roof return. So, um, you know, there's basically you can take a roof assembly and you can fully edit it with this new edit menu. And I've just also enabled it so that it will um, work in the metric um, <coughs> uh, units as well. A few other things, of course, um, you know, in, it just depends what, what you want to do, but, you know, you can add in uh, battens, um, so all the standard uh, advanced options are available to you. Soffit cut if you have, you know, deeper um, top cores of your trusses. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's it makes things kind of nice because you don't have to recreate the... Uh, truss assembly every time you want to make a change to this thing. So now we've just changed our uh, our overhang. And let's go ahead and change those roof returns up just a little bit more. Fine tune them, so to speak. there. Let's take it a little while. And maybe we'll change that to a 312. There we go. Okay. That's just my computer kind of hanging up here for a second. And then, you know, maybe you want a full return versus a hip. Notice sometimes my computer is a little slow, but uh, generally it'll update. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a little slow today. Yeah, probably reboot it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so let's take a look at some of the advanced option changes that have happened lately. If you get here into the global settings. Um, You'll notice, for one thing, that we also have hurricane ties now that you can enable. And once you turn those on and you're creating your truss assemblies and rafter assemblies, um, you set those within this global settings menu and not while you're actually creating the truss or rafter. So you basically make that decision at this level. Um, at some point I may make it so you can turn it on and off while you create the truss, but for now I have it set up here. <coughs> Another kind of interesting and cool feature, I think, is I've added in this ability to change the uh, default colors for your lumber and your pressure treated lumber, as well as your gypsum color. So if you click here, you now present it with a little color pick tool, which you can, you know, you can see how it's updating this color down here. And then, you know, if you want to get back to the original default, I have the default colors kind of pre-selected here for you. So you can just click that. And there you go. With the wall cladding and the roof cladding materials, um, you can also now select them and it'll give you like a little thumbnail preview so you kind of get an idea of what you're going to get with that color. <coughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, there's quite a few small additions to the plugin, but the primary one recently has been this um, edit menu. And I think it adds a lot of functionality to the plugin overall. Uh, and <coughs> basically, what my thinking is is once I've gone through and made sure there's no major bugs and minor bugs with this uh, edit function, we'll go ahead and push that out to all of the truss types and all of the ro roof rafter types and floor trusses and floor joist uh, systems. So the plan is, is eventually is to make this available 
for everything, every feature that you create uh, within the plugin. Anyways, as usual, if you have any questions, give me a holler. Um, I'm always available via email and sometimes even by phone. So I'm willing to help you out as, as uh, you need any help. Thank you once again, and I hope you enjoy the use of this plugin. Thank you. Bye.